Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Subscribe and like. See all my son's shoes there. Ah, uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners on, on your walls in your basement, win state championships in less time for less than a dollar a day. 14D free trial. You will get you will get my personal email address. You'll get one-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, everything you would want is there and available. So go over and check it out and let's head off to the podcast. Now, when I'm looking at the one three one, I like to focus on practicing closeouts, double teams, and then looking at post defense, um, different drills to really strengthen our defense. Um, one drill um, specifically for closeouts, I like, I'll kind of explain it here and then I'll play the video. We have three players on the top of the arc for offense. Um, and then we have a line of offensive players. And then we have one defender. The ball will start in the middle and they will pass it either right or left. Wherever the ball goes, that defender will follow and play on ball D. Whoever passed the ball will then cut to the net. The defender then has to drop back and protect the cut. They don't want to leave that guy open, so they're going to drop off the ball, follow the cut, and then the player on the ball on either side will then pass back to the middle to a new player. The defender will then run up and close out on the middle player who's getting the ball, who's getting that pass. I love this drill to work on the 1-3-1-D, to work on closeouts, but also for pack line man-to-man -to, -man to emphasize um, help defense and closeouts. So I'm going to play the video here, and we can see. So we'll go through one more time. We pass to the side. The defender follows, drops to cover the cutter. Back to the middle, and we close out. So that's a really good drill I love, and it's very easy to grasp and understand for the modified um, players, but it really does emphasize that closeout skill. And then looking at pros and cons. Um, Anytime I look at a D, I want to know what are the good things about it and what are we going to have challenges with um, to really kind of be proactive in coming up with solutions that our players can um, can work on. For the one three one, the pros are you're really going to clog the middle. You're going to congest the paint. You're going to make it very difficult um, to get penetration into your paint. It's a great defense if you have a bigger size team. If you have some height, this would be a great, great zone to use. And for the modified level, especially, you are going to force perimeter shots. And for modified, they're going to struggle. Um, when I use this, we had a team we played against who shot 25 three point shots and they made two. Um, we really wanted to force that shot, make them try to get the three pointer, and then we'll capitalize on the rebound. Um, the cons. You can be beat with quick ball movement. So if there's coaches who are going to make adjustments to you and to your D, the quick ball movement can hurt you, especially if they're going side to side on the court. Your shooting guard may struggle to get from the right side and then the ball shifts and get all the way to the left to cover. Um, so you might be a little out of position if they're moving the ball quickly. Um, kind of piggybacking off that, if your players aren't, shifting correctly or rotating quick enough um, you're going to be out of position and the offense will kind of take advantage of those gaps in your d and then for the one three one i like to make an in-game adjustment um if we maybe need a few more turnovers we want to be a little more aggressive you can have your point guard start to pressure when the ball handler gets right to half court you can Pull him all the way up there, start to pressure there, um, maybe get a steal, maybe you can just overwhelm the offense a little bit, just make it not as easy for them coming down the court. And then 
if the ball handler coming down the court is being pressured, they're going to be more likely to get that quick pass off. So you want your power forward and your small forward to cheat up toward the three-point arc. And then they might be able to jump a pass. You can get a couple quick turnovers, go on a fast break. Definitely um, a good option to force more turnovers. Um, the flaw is if your point guard is getting burned by their ball handler coming down the court, uh, if they can't keep stay in front of them and play on ball D, you're going to leave kind of that lane open a little bit. Your shooting guard would be there at the free throw line to help, um, but you don't want to be in that position where your point guard is running to catch up. So make sure if you're running this adjustment, your point guard can play solid on ball D where they're not going to be playing catch up, trying to get, get back to the ball. Um, and that would be it for the one, three, one. Hey coach, I uh, hope you're liking the video. If you are, kick down below. Um, that would help us a ton. Hit the like button down below. If you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Hit the little bell up above. You'll get a notification every time um, one of our new videos goes live. Um, also, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com. Enjoy.